So Jack has a uh, injury to the supraspinatus tendon, a little bit of a mild tear. He also has a superior labral tear. We know that on MRI. Uh, two uh, injuries occurred when he was catching a ball in the outfield. He's a high level collegiate uh, outfielder. Caught the ball, landed on the outstretched arm twice in the season, and uh, that's what the MRI showed. Uh, he's been having problems with flexion to 90 degrees and more so than abduction, which is interesting. So previously, now you can start using the arm, we started him on the wind back uh, supine because he had range of motion supine because he had a stability issue um, and we had him doing rotation, flexion, extension. Now we progress to doing the range of motion with the CET and the RET going right through the shoulder. Um, we also done some of the mix mode with motion going right through the shoulder, but now I can really focus in on where I think the labral tear is and where that's right, I'll get out of the way. He knows the drill more than I do. There we go. That's it. Um, we want to get right on that labral issue. And uh, so we've done it in all different manners um, so far with Jack. And uh, what do you think about what's going on? Wait a second, Jack. Let me change that. So, Jack, how's the wind back been working out for you? Pretty good. The biggest difference I feel is it enables me to get to like the end of my range of motion easier. And I don't feel like it pinching or grabbing me. Yeah. Um, which was previously a problem. Um, and, and, you know, anytime you're improving range of motion, I guess. And that was where we were with him. You know, originally we just got the inflammation down, but then he had that range of motion issue. And now uh, we're able to get him back nicely. So those are all the different ways we've been using the Techar therapy on rehab of his shoulder.